Hey everyone, tonight we are back in Phnom Penh, Cambodia with my good friend, Ayu. Hi. You'll remember my last trip here, we had two amazing videos where she showed me some amazing local food. And tonight, she's brought two friends along. We have Colin over here. Hi there. And Nicole. Hello, everybody. So Colin, we're, we're down here at what, the night market? Uh, we are at the night market, yeah. Colin really helped me out tonight because it's Thursday night. I thought the night market was only open on the weekends, but apparently it's open every night. It just goes really late on the weekends. So it's about nine o'clock. We're down here. It's filled with people. There's some music going. They've got shoes and sunglasses, all sorts of stuff you can buy. A lot of places to get food. All sorts of little sausages, meatballs, wontons. Oh, that's an interesting, like, um, open roll there. Oh, beat the horse crab. Beat the horse crab. <laughs> nice. I want that one for sure. Beat the salted crab. Oh, they have balut here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. They do indeed. Right. I didn't know they did that in Cambodia. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, fried noodle, uh, sakol. Yeah, sakol. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Deep fried wonton, moi. Okay. Can I have one of the porridge? Okay, baba. Yes. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Homeboy's doing the crabs back there. Yeah. All right, great. I use crab, papaya, basil, salad. So it's got clams and spicy crab. Or just, no, just crab, no clam. Now we've got some beef noodles and, oh, the skewers. How convenient. I don't know, Nicole really looks like she likes the skewers, so... I'm into it. I think she secretly ordered it. What do you think? It needs some sauce. The sauce bucket. This is where we grab some sauce. This like spice bucket is pretty out of control. We got like 10 different spices there. Is that chili? Yeah, that's chili. Marinated. Is it with the brown sugar? So it's rojak, like in yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you dip, dip sour fruits. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And this is my chicken kanji stuff. Mm, look at that. Let's dig in. Oh, crab. I love fresh crab so much. Let's dip it in the sauce for a little bit. It's not as fresh as I hoped it would be. <laughs> More than 50% fresh. <laughs> More than 50% fresh. <laughs> well, it's late at night. So. Mm. Yeah, it's, it is true. It's late at night. So hopefully they caught this this morning. If you want fresh, you get here at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, yeah. What's in those? Um... So the, the, these are deep fried taro wontons. Taro, okay. Yeah. So it's carbs on carbs. Nice. Absolutely. Love My it. Favorite thing in the world. Try it. Nicole's so confused. Okay, look at that bad boy. Wow. Fried fabric. Doughy. Mm. This one's tofu? It looks like deep fried tofu. Okay, Ben, it's your turn to try. Tofu, my favorite. Oh, that's good. Very dense. Switch. Nice crispy brown on the outside. Mm. Wow, okay. Mm. So they've like processed the taro to look like it's other stuff. 
for you. It looks like there's like glass noodles, but it's all just uh, uh, Alright, let's try this porridge. I actually really like this porridge. It's not too um, gluten-y. There's like chunks of rice in like broth. So it's not like congee that's like really, really sticky. It's more of um, a s actual true soup. Nicole's beef noodle soup has arrived. Mm. Mm, really good. Classic beef noodle. Yeah. Dude, Ayu, you Bong. completely ruined this plate. <laughs> that crab is crying now. Dude, dude, look at that. Ate that like a beast. Complete wipeout. Nicole just emptied out that. Alright, that was really, really good food. And let's see what the prices are like. Bong kit loy? Yeah. Bong kit loy. Alright. Min. 47,000. So that's like uh, $10, right? How much is that? $11.50. Alright, nice. The best part is I get the local money back to change. <laughs> Thank you. All right, time for the next stop. So we're gonna walk through the market itself now. There's a lot of stuff you can buy here. Check this out. LV belts, Da Vinci shoes, all sorts of different kids products, real Gucci shirts, Nike. They have a very tall ceiling here. <laughs> Watch your step. Got some wallets over here, purses, clothes. Do you guys ever buy anything here? I did. I did. I bought two knockoff watches here. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh. One, one when I first landed here because my watch dress. broke and I didn't have anything to wear. And then just spontaneously last year, just because. Are they still running? Uh, the one is not. The one that I bought first is not, but the one that I bought recently is still running. <laughs> nice. So you get a... a it's, it's, it's $20 and it lasts you a few years. It lasts you a few years. That's right. perfect. Wow, all right. Yeah. There they are. Yeah, here they are. And how much uh, did you pay? Do you remember? Uh, well, I think I paid $15 for the first one and then 20 for the next. All right. Yeah. Like if you're over like five, six, you're gonna have to duck a bit. Yeah. And this is the main, this is the main entrance. So then over here is the riverside, the riverfront. All right, next we're gonna go head over and check out this local brewery that Colin knows about. I don't know why I ordered the porridge. I actually don't even, like I don't like kanji pretty much at all, but something about the picture <laughs> made it look different and better than it was. More soupy. Okay, so what is this place called, Colin? It is called Hops. It is Hops. A, yeah, it is a beer garden and restaurant. It's usually so crowded and we cannot get any seats or play pool or play darts, but now I think we can. Okay, so you come here a lot then. I do! <laughs> I love this place. Wow, this place is huge. You can see they have their own brewing tanks right across the way there. What's in here? This is the pool room. This is the pool room. And they have a lot of craft beer here. Nice. Do you guys only serve craft beer? Just any craft beer, right? Only your own beer. Yes, I'm in here. I like. They have descriptions of the yeah. Ah, ah, all right. <laughs> no, Which one do you want? The red, Red Fury. So in this town, only Friday, Saturday night, people really go out. Yeah. Yeah, like you would not be able to get a pool table in this Hops bar if you come here on a Friday or Saturday night. All right, time to play some pool. Yeah, look at that break. Thank you. Boom, look at that. Yeah. Colin, killing it. Thank you. 
Wow, look at this. Thanks for coming out tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. Prost. What do they say here in Cambodia? Chamoy. 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 Strawberry session ale. Strawberry session ale. Red ale. And wheat? This is Admiral Witch. And it's, it's a wheat beer. Yes, it's a wheat beer. Yeah, this beer is really good. And now for the local bar nuts. It's very comfy. It's a comfy beer. It's not bitter. It just slides down the drink. Ooh, yeah, spicy. Okay, well, this yeah. is the current situation of the beer. And uh, where the hell did Nicole go? She went home. Okay, Nicole's no longer here either. I wanted to thank Colin and IU back for the third time on this channel. And I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you're out here in Pen on Pen on a Thursday night, it is going to be more quiet, but this is a great place to come to if you wanted to play some pool, get some good brews. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.